So hi, I'm Ryan for Ryan's Guitar Stuff and today's video is the Mason lineup at Everest Music. Um, the Mason lineup. Mason are a new brand um, in the acoustic scene anyway and some of the guitars, well mainly all of them, are really high end guitars um, for an incredible price point. So this is, and I have to bring up the code because I'm not familiar with the Mason codes. So this is the ESM 10 Limited. So this is, oh this sounds very nice. And Christmas song. So, um, the guitar itself has a solid spruce top, mahogany back and side. It's a very simple designed guitar as you can see. Um, the headstock is rosewood overlaid and you can see it's a rosewood fretboard with a rosewood bridge. Bone saddle I believe and if not I'll correct myself over there. And a bone nut and this is a plain acoustic. Um, all the videos in this uh, video I'll be just showing acoustically. Because my laptop said this has um, die cast tuners that have a ebony style pickhead. Uh, ebony is fake ebony for anyone that doesn't know. Well, it's not fake. It's um, it's not true ebony, but it's made to look like ebony in a sense. And um, so that's what it is. Ebony is um, usually it's like um, perloid in a sense for anyone that doesn't know. So um, the next guitar in the lineup um will be the D1 SC. It's a, this is a beginner's guitar for a 299. It's the first in the Mason lineup that would have a solid top as well. So the intermediate guitar is the D1 SCE. This, I'll just grab it and continue on with the video. So next, um, as I said, is the D1. So, just carefully pick this up. This is the D1. And to be exact, this is the D1 SCE. And it's a spruce top. Or is it spruce top? I think it's actually cedar. Let's see if I play some Christmas song for me. God, my fingers. Um, so this comes with elixir strings already on it, and elixirs are very high end strings. But I'll continue playing this. Just elixirs are elixirs. If anyone was wondering, I'll do a video in the future, um, just showing different string brands and what you get at different strings. Okay. This guitar is a dreadnought with a rosewood fretboard, all gloss body and back sides. Comes with uh, Mason's own pickup system. Yep. And and uh, this is the pickup system that was in the PS three hundred and PS three hundred will be later on in this video because it's a higher end Mason. Um. So I'll just show you that in the future. Bit um, in the future, but this is the Mason pickup system, and it's a quite nice pickup system. Uh, it's jack out the back and 
if memory serves me right, these jacks um, keep the jack in very well and the lead in very well, I should say. Uh, Rosewood bridge, as I've said, bone, nut and saddle, so you get a better sound and acoustic. <laughs> Yeah, and this is part of Mason's um, lineup of guitars in the D series, and the D series is Dreadnought. So now to continue on, and I'm putting these guitars in very peculiar places. So now this one, I have no idea what the woods are, so I'll stick them up in a minute. Um, so the woods, it's a nice guitar. It's um, it's more of an auditorium style guitar. In a sense, um, it's Mason style bridge with the br um, bridge. You can kind of see that curve shaped to it, which is quite nice. Very smooth to the hand, actually. And the bridge, it's um, fretboard, I should say, and um, rosewood as well. And the bridge is rosewood, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And the bone saddle and nut. Um, again, oh, these are Mason's higher end tuners. So you can tell the high end tuners because does this got them? Yes it does. So on the last one the die cast tuners and these are and the D1 also had them, but these tuners themselves are Mason's tuners and they inlay into the headstock. So if you can see in the video, I'm not sure how well it'll show, because this has a tiny screen. Um they are flat mounted. So they're just flat flush and it's better for locking in a sense because it has more surface areas but also um, they're just, um, it's a nice touch that the machine head is flat um, it doesn't do anything sound wise but it's just a nice little um, feature all the same so again this has Mason's um, own pickup system and also you may notice this has a tuner there you go. So, um, the guitar itself. Wood. and it just sounds like a it sounds really bright and I wasn't expecting that. it sounds very bright and I usually associate dark woods with dark towns because of mahogany in a sense but that has a really bright tone and so these guitars that I've just shown in this segment here are for your intermediate players so people who have been playing for a year or two at the most not a year or two, sorry. People who've been playing a bit and want a nicer sound guitar, but they're not the high end ones. So these ones are about um, 500 quid plus in that respect. So I'm going to continue on now. And um, the next guitar, I'll just explain when I have it, what's the deal with it. So see you in a minute. So in this part of the video, I'm going to be talking about possibly my two favorite guitars in the Mason lineup. So, as I said a few seconds ago for you, but a few minutes for me, um, this guitar is the next guitar I'm going to do. To explain what I meant by there's something about this guitar that's not what I should, um, the next guitar in the lineup I should be doing is an MS-10 um, that has solid back size top, um, but this only has a solid top. And that's just to let you know, but this is the S MS-10. M10-S And it has 
a darker tone because there's a rosewood back and sides on this. It's an all natural guitar, so it's maple binding around the edge. Uh, a rosalette, which is a nice, uh, natural, all natural rosalette. And yeah, the guitar is, it has the higher end mason tuners, as I have said. And yeah, it's just a. So the guitar itself is quite nice. It has, and the higher, I'm not sure it's this with all Masons, but in the shop in specifically, and um, the higher end you go, the more of a V-neck you get. And uh, not like V-neck, V-neck as in um, the neck on the guitar actually becomes a soft V. So I'll demonstrate over here what I mean by a V-neck. But the idea of a V-neck, it's more of a vintage guitar thing and it's just weird because I'm I play C shape necks all the time, and um, that's what generally most fenders would have in a sense. Um, but lately, since I've been playing these, I'm actually liking the V shaped neck. So um, yeah, might be buying a V shaped neck for a guitar. Anyway, this is my favorite guitar in the shop. This is the PS10. It's review full reviews up there. But this is 695 euro as a filming. is as you can see there's a sound hole on the front and the side so it's just to show you the projection of sound off it and um, also the handy thing about this guitar is since the projection of sound is up in your face you can hear what it sounds like compared to other acoustic guitars and um, but again this has a v-shaped neck and mason's and um, proprietary and uh, pickup system and yeah it's a nice guitar for the price uh, i would full heartedly buy this in a heartbeat because I love this style of guitar with smaller sound holes, sound hole inside, and just this shape. Also, it's thinner. Like, if I get them side by side, you can see how much thinner the guitar is in comparison. So, it just shows you, um, it doesn't show you, it just says, like, if you want a compact -er guitar for mace um, guitar, you can actually get it. And for me personally, I find acoustics too big, so this is why I'm drawn to this guitar. Um, so that's the lineup at Everest at the moment. They can get a lot of Mason guitars in. So um, if you want one that you've seen on the website or you're seeing some of the players play them, so some players just to give them give you an idea who plays them are Ronnie Sharon, Aaron Rams, and Rob D. Grot. Um, I'll stick their names up there if I'm mispronouncing. But um, there are um, players with these guitars. And also, I forgot to say this, um, the Mason guitars, you can get their pickup system, which sounds phenomenal. Or you can get the LR bag systems, and the Anthems too, I believe, is what comes in most uh, Mason guitars as well. So you have a choice between Mason's pickups and LR bags. And the LR bags, we haven't, Everest hasn't got them in stock at the moment, but they're a very nice pickup system all the same. Um, I'll link it down uh, below a few videos of LO bag pickups and that's it So in this video, I've shown the beginner lineup of Mason guitars the intermediate which is about five six hundred About 500 euro mark and these are the higher end ones that are available at Everest Which are about six to seven hundred euros and um, so I've been Ryan for Ryan's guitar So for recording that Everest music and see you in the next video. Bye